Wern. Happy birthday, my man. The big 3-0. World ain't ready. Uh, what do I appreciate most about Zach? It have to be how close you are with your family and how you really integrate and share that closeness and love with your friends and your community. Um, bringing us over for Rosh Hashanah to share those moments is really special. Um, how your family comes and hangs, you know, with you and at your friend's place is just, it's really nice and it's a beautiful model of closeness and sort of integrated life. Um, so it's beautiful. Thank you for that. And my favorite memory with Zach, um, you know it without me saying, brother, uh, rooftop, um, mosaic, last night, first burn, uh, both of us just sitting there taking it all in, processing, sharing, uh, being present and just really, really um, loving that moment. Really special, bro. Also the walks. Uh, sometimes a little cold though, but um, love you, brother. God bless. Abundance, Shefa, and all of the things to come in this next year for you. I'm so happy to be able to join in this tribute to my dear friend Zach Werner. My best memory with Zach was when we were in grade school together back in Kansas City at J.C. Nichols. It was probably 1960 and uh, I was having a really hard time climbing the rope they require you to climb and uh, Zach was down at the bottom and he was just so encouraging and generous um, and when some of the other kids were making fun of me he he defended me and I made it all the way to the top of the rope and it gave me a great deal of confidence that day and I'm so grateful uh, that uh, he was and continues to be uh, a source of confidence uh, and comfort in my life. So I'm grateful to him and I love him. Happy birthday, Zach. Brother Zach, happy birthday. I'm here in Bob Roth's office waiting to be taught how to meditate. And I want to take a moment to tell you why I love you. Um, so you're obviously an incredibly talented guy. Um, but what I love most about you is how much you care about people and how much of your essence is focused on making sure the people around you are happy. I think that starts with your family and seeing how you honor those relationships and those people in your life and really lift them up. Um, and then with your friends and seeing how much you really just care about them, you want them to do well. And I think that that caring matched with your just unquestionable skill and intelligence is a powerful force. So don't forget it. Keep taking care of the people you love. I love you, man. Happy birthday. You deserve all the great stuff happening in your life. I love you. Happy, 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 happy birthday. Um... What do I appreciate most about Zach Werner? You real, and I love that about you. And you make my girl so happy and that means the world to me. Um, my favorite memory, about to happen, Tulum, 2019. Um, can't wait, it's gonna be so much fun. Happy fucking birthday. Zach, happy birthday, my man. I wish that uh, I was wearing my short little board shorts on the beach in Tulum with you right now, but um, these snow boots will have to do. I hope um, you're having a great day. I hope that uh, the future feels optimistic. I hope you're surrounded by some people that you love. I hope that um, the food is good and that the smiles are abundant. I'm grateful for um, all the hangouts and conversations that we've got to have over the last little part of last year and uh, what's coming up ahead. I'm grateful for your perspective, for uh, the way that you see the world and the way that you help other people see it as well. Keep shining, keep doing the thing that you do, keep bringing people together in such a beautiful way. Let's have some good fun this year and uh, make some magic. Big love to you, my man, see you soon. So the thing um, I appreciate most about Zach is that he takes his work seriously, takes his life seriously, takes his friends seriously, but he doesn't take himself too seriously. And my favorite memory of Zach is getting ice cream with him and Sam a few months ago in LA and just seeing him be 
weird and silly and happy and in love. And uh, I love you, buddy. Happy birthday. So here's the thing about Zach. Zach's personality is this huge bundle of extremes. And so what's really fun to think about is, let's say he was born in some totally different life circumstances. Because let's face it, having been born and raised in the suburbs by incredibly traditional parents might not have been the best fit for Zach, might not have been the most natural fit for Zach. So just like imagine, for instance, if he was born a caveman, and that would have been awesome for Zach, because first he could have invented fire, and then he could have said, no, no, guys, you don't just heat up your food, you have to braise your food lightly and then season it with garlic and, and basil sauce and whatever, and that would have been just perfect for him. So, or imagine like if Zach lived in the time and was actually Robin Hood. So Zach would not have only like stolen a lot more than Robin Hood, <laughs> but he would have like brought it to the peasants. He would have like taught them jobs. He would have given them jobs, given... job training. Right. And then he would have cooked for them. And then he would have cooked for them with the, with the fire, right. right? For the. And then also like imagine that we were like all marooned on either like Swiss Family Robinson. So like Zach would have built us the most amazing mansion in the tree that, and we never would have wanted to leave. We never would have No wanted. one would have Actually, wanted. I probably would have wanted to leave, but none of well, the rest of them would have wanted to leave. Right. Anyway. So those would have been ideal situations, but I think that there were life circumstances that definitely could have been worse for Zach also. So for instance, just imagine Zach being raised in the time of the Puritans. And I think that's pretty self-evident why that would not have worked for Zach. But there's also... Well, the worst case scenario, at least for me, would be like, imagine if he was the crown prince in medieval English times. Because he would have <laughs> killed me for sure and imprisoned all of his brothers just to make sure that he was the only person who could actually be, be king. king. Yeah. Okay, but then he would have been a very benevolent king once he'd murdered his entire family yes. to get there. Right? I that think that he would have kept true. you alive. Actually. I think... Actually, that's true. Yes. I think... Seriously, though, what I think most people think first of when they think of Zach is besides his like crazy raw intelligence crazy again but um, just his amazing creativity and uh, problem solving abilities uh, so tell us the crazy hand story I think I just want to for most people think that you grow into that over time but the truth is Zach was born with that he always had it even when he was a little kid we knew that he had it and so my favorite story to tell is always the crazy hat day story so he was a five-year-old in camp and they had a crazy hat day contest and I said to Michael before he left that morning I would bet every dollar in his college fund that this kid is going to win crazy hat day because that's just the way he is and of course he did win it um, but it was fun because the the judge from the camp uh, called afterwards and said in 25 years of judging crazy hat day I've only seen kids come up with hats and then try to make them crazy and Zach he just made crazy into a hat. It was a totally, he just thought of it in a totally inside out way. And I said, yep, that's my kid. Not surprising. Not surprising, not surprising. But what, one of our other favorite stories is when Zach was at NYU, he came up with an idea about how to change the sound to make it more realistic for video games. But since he was a student there, they sort of said like, okay, we own this and you don't get credit. And he was besides himself and, um, he was like saying, I'll never come up with an idea, this was my ticket, and we looked at him like... We thought that was hilarious. That was hilarious, because it's like one of a billion ideas you're going to come up with. You will never be short of ideas, and of course, he is never short He's of like ideas. He's an idea-making machine. machine. Right. So. So I think what um, people don't know about Zach, and which to us is a much more important part of Zach, uh, besides his brain and his creativity, is just his, his naturally giving nature, which he also always had from day one. Mm -hmm. the, the truth is, like as a kid, Zach wasn't really comfortable in social situations, even though he had every reason to be, for whatever reason, it was just, it was always something about him having to prove himself. Um, so one day on a hunch, I took him to a homeless shelter because I thought this might be a different experience for him. And it was just an amazing thing to see was as if we had waded through all the garbage and got to the core Zach. He was so amazing that the volunteers at the homeless shelter said, I've never seen a young kid, he was maybe 10 at the time, interact with the people that way in such a natural way, in such a giving way. And it was really, and I was like, yeah, that's my kid. And then one of the things that he did, I mean, he was always very loyal to his friends. 
and when he was in high school, he had sort of a friend that wasn't one of his closest friends um, who really needed a place to stay. And Zach said, okay, why don't, I mean, he asked us, he said, why don't you come and live with us? And Zach shared his room and everything with him for a I mean, full year. This kid had so many other friends that he was close to, but Zach, who offered up his own home, uh, and they ended up sharing a room for a year. It was something that I don't, I can't think of anybody else that would have done. Right. And very graciously, really. It was wonderful. It was so, wonderful. And he's also very giving to, to his brothers, which yeah. is really the thing that we care about the most. Yeah. So the thing is that, yes, people are so impressed by his brain, and they should be, but for us, Zach's creativity is the way he thinks. It's His goodness is the core of who he is. And that's what is so spectacularly special about him. So Zach... My wish for you is that you find that this balance in your life where you can be extraordinarily successful because you can be, but you also can be a force for good in the world because that's who you are at your core and what I think is going to be most meaningful for you in your life. And I hope that being a Warner Boy, you're going to keep reaching for things because you just can't help yourself. But what I'm hoping is that at a certain point you do it because you enjoy it um, and you love it, but not because you have anything left to prove. We love you. We think you're fabulous. And we're so pleased that you're turning 30. Happy birthday, Zach. Can't wait to celebrate with you down in Mexico and really stoked to be filming this video for you. So wanted to start with two things. One, what do I appreciate most about you? I have to say you're friendship. You're one of the better friends I have and no matter where we are in the world, how separated we are, I always know that I have a great friend that I can rely on that I can always catch up with and pick up right where we left off no matter where in the world we're running into each other. And my favorite memory of you has to be sitting in our condo in Havana, jamming out in the middle of the night. I was hammered, you of course were not but just belting out songs and playing on guitar and having a great time when we happen to be in Cuba at the same time. Uh, so can't wait to celebrate with you, man. Happy birthday, and I love you. Zach, happy birthday, buddy. I'm sending you this tribute from the comfort of uh, an Equinox men's locker room, which I know you uh, have had a lot of fun in over the years. Um, Zach comes to Equinox for two reasons, to go for a steam and to only work out his biceps. If you're with him right now, just take a look. Uh, no, but seriously, I can't believe you're 30. Um, I think uh, I've, I regard you as a much older man, um, and I really admired how you've grown over the last handful of years and uh, taken a role as uh, a supporter and a, and a confidant in a lot of people's lives. Um, we share this kind of bond as older brothers, um, and as both being one of four, I just uh, I love seeing you kind of uh, uh, take care of your family uh, and and be that role model. Uh, again, I'm just I'm so proud of you, uh, and I uh, can't wait to continue celebrating this uh, this long birthday with you and uh, in many years to come. Happy birthday! Hey Zach, happy birthday! Um, I hope you have such a wonderful big 30th birthday. It's so sweet to get to celebrate you and to appreciate you and the ways that you show up all the people that you love in your life and the way that you support all of us. You're such a great friend and so dependable and so loyal and honest and just always there. Um, so it's really nice to get to celebrate you and show up for you this year. I hope you have a really wonderful year of learning, adventure, and lots and lots. Of Happy birthday, Stud Muffin. What I love the most about you is that you are always willing to be the best friend that you need. And sometimes that's when you're our biggest cheerleaders. And sometimes that's when you're the one who's brave enough to say the hard thing and to help us see what we're missing. I'm so excited and happy to have you in my life. And I cannot wait to create more amazing memories. And I cannot wait to see what you do because I'm so incredibly proud of you. Zach? Hello, sir. It's your birthday. <laughs> we're so sad that we're not there with you. See the 
horribleness of our move coming to fruition, but we wish we were there with you to celebrate and- We love you. We love you so much. You've been such a great friend to both of us. It's pretty rare for us both to feel so close to a friend and have individual relationships with that person. And we get that with you. And whether it's showing up randomly at our house in Utah or getting to have a wonderful dinner on uh, in, in your home. You know, we just feel so lucky to have you in our lives. Love you. Look forward to hanging again soon. And happy, happy birthday. birthday. You love to see it. Love to see it. Bye. To my roommate, my newest life partner, Zach, you are amazing. I am so, so, so happy we canceled on each other six times before we met and fell in love. Every day, every dinner is such a treat. You are the best. I hope the L train never gets fixed. Hey, Zach. Happy birthday. I'm so sad that I'm not in Tulum with you in the beautiful warm sun. And instead, I am here in New York, freezing my butt off in the subway. Um, but I am thinking about you all the time. and so, so grateful for your friendship, your generosity, your kindness, your support. I've just been really, really, really grateful to have you as a friend. And I hope you're just having the best time and really, really celebrating um, an awesome year behind you, an awesome year ahead of you. And I can't wait to hug you in person when you get back. I love you. Happy birthday. Zach, happy birthday, man. Always been a smart one, always been funny. But now that you're into your 30s, you actually have wisdom. So I'm looking forward to hearing you drop wisdom. Uh, I think the other thing I really have enjoyed spending time to get to know you is learning your values. And, uh, and I think it's great values you're carrying into your 30s. So congrats, happy birthday. Look forward to spending time together. Happy birthday, I love you. If you've made it all the way to this video, that means you haven't died from a panic attack over planning a group trip to Tulum. I'm so proud of you. Good job. Zach! Happy birthday, man. Uh, grateful to have you as a friend and all these years who would who would have thunk um what do i love the most about you uh you know uh it's funny i think it's crazy that we're so different and that you get me dude it's really amazing i it's rare to have a friendship and i am grateful and i appreciate it and i'm glad we can celebrate you so so happily uh, and I know that this is going to be a great year for you. I'm proud of you. I'm excited to just visit and hang and move to New York. Happy birthday. What I appreciate most about Zach is that he's always looking out for those who he loves. He's constantly looking to help them in their personal lives and their professional lives. I always know that Zach will be there for me no matter how large or small the size and favor I ask. That is just one of the many things that I love about my eldest brother, and, is, and I know it is what many others do as well. I love you, Zachy. You're the greatest big brother anyone could ever ask for. Congratulations on turning 30. I can't wait to spend the next 30 years with you as well. Wow. Hey, bud. Turning 30. Wow, that's a big one. Um. What can I say? Basically crushing life, um, making great decisions, picking Sam as your girlfriend, best freaking human in the world, picking me as your business partner, second best, far second, maybe? Um, I really can't express more love towards you, bro. Um, changed my life, absolutely fucking pulled me out of the deep end or threw me into the deep end, pulled me out of shallow waters. Um, and I'm finally starting to find that swagger that you always uh, told me was there. And um, I don't know, some great memories. It's like a lot, but I think one of like the strongest solidifying memories for me was that time that we went to Burning Man together. And I know it's like one of the first ones, but you planned so hard and we like mapped out all the food and I forgot it. And you, when I forgot it, you didn't get mad, you didn't freak out. I think you just like saw in my face how disappointed I was with myself. 
um, which was just like a really kind and really like special moment in terms of me getting to know you and something that's just popped up so many times. Um, you know when to push me and you know when to, to pull back and you know when I can be my worst enemy and you just push, you just like constantly driving me to be better and better. And uh, we built a pretty fucking cool company out of it. Uh, but most of all, I think we built a pretty deep and special friendship, something that I'll cherish forever. Um, another good one is the time, you weren't even there, but uh, the time that you um, sent me two, two ridiculously hot supermodels to stay with in Paris, just like a, another one of those uh, nice little gestures throughout me. I greatly appreciated that experience. Um, yeah, man, fucking love you. Uh, Tulum's gonna be epic. And when we come back, company's gonna be rolling. A lot of great things coming for, for this year and crazy to think about where we'll be when uh, you're 31. Uh, beard's looking strong too. Love you, bro. Hi Zach, you are absolutely my favorite older brother. One of the things I love so much about you is your extraordinary generosity. The idea of not being 130% generous with the people that you love would never even occur to you. You are a fighter and you fight for the people you believe in and the things that you love and the people you love and I feel like you have always, always fought for me and I promise to always fight for you. I love you even though you're straight. Zach, happy 30. I hope this is one of the most fulfilling decades of your life. Uh, that sets you up for an incredible lifetime of, uh, of happiness, intention, and love. Um, it's been so fun getting to work by your side this last year. I certainly appreciate um, you know, just your mindset and mentality in approaching interactions. I think you're one of those rare people wherein there is no work and personal separation and you should always be in pursuit of a really fulfilling life um, and the way that you go about that and just your sheer ambition and how deeply you care about those around you has been such an awesome influence um, and, and really fulfilling to just be around every day both as a friend and work colleague. Um, gosh, favorite memory. Uh, it's tough to pick. We have a lot. I mean, I could start with the uh, first week of work being having to call your dad uh, to ask him about a sex toy selection on a uh, e-commerce pitch we were looking at, or just galvanizing around Paris and uh, you know, kind of figuring out what uh, this next decade will look like. I think there are too many to mention, um, and I think that's probably a good thing been just so fun um, working with you and for you and happy 30. Beyond blessed and uh, honored to be celebrating you. I have to say this seems like a very off-brand birthday present for you but I don't want to disappoint Sam more than anything else so I'll, I'll do it. Um, you're nice, uh, you're a good friend, you're very loyal, even though you're mean and snarky, um, hurtful, uh, embarrassing sometimes, uh, many times embarrassing. Uh, but here we are. Um, your fo your photo in this uh, tribute is really funny. You're wearing uh, like a falcon arm thing in Burning Man. It's cute when you dress up. It's so cute when you dress up. Um, okay, let's have another great year. So, Zach's 30th birthday. Um, well, I think Zach has a weird genetic defect. Okay, hold on, let me rephrase that. I think Zach has a lot of weird genetic defects. Uh, there's one in particular I'd like to talk about. You know, so Zach is turning 30. So Zach's not actually 30. I don't know if people know this about Zach, 
but he has this weird thing it's like um benjamin button but the opposite where however many years he's been alive his actual soul's age is about 13.7 repeating times that so that would mean that he's like i don't know 3262 years old right now um which like based on his level of curmudgeonedness i don't know if that's an appropriate adjective adjective curmudgeonedness um feels about right so i just thought in honor zach of your 30th birthday everyone should know the truth about you and your age everyone should also know that you are a wonderful incredible special man and we are all so grateful and so lucky to have you in our lives and i love you so much i love the way that you see like god damn do you see straight through people into their souls you know their truth before they know it and you held so much deep beautiful love even though you try and hide it and you think that we don't know we know you're a sweetheart and a softie and i fucking love you even though you're 3267 years old i love you happy birthday my brother Zach, I just want to say there's a, a very good reason why all of us are down here to celebrate your 30th birthday. You are amongst the finest men to have walked the planet. And when I think about you, when I think about what makes you so special, I think about the possibility of an apocalypse. I know my mind doesn't usually go there, but with you it does. What would I do in the case of an apocalypse? There's one person I would call. There's one person I would want to hunker down in a bunker with. There's one person who I would give all my guns to, share all my food with, reproduce a future civilization with. It's you and uh, it's a testament to your, the way that you spawn when anything is wrong in the lives of anybody who you love. I feel so secure as a result of knowing that no matter what happens in my life, you will be there. You will likely be the first to be there. You might stay and be the last to leave. And I feel stronger as a person in my life because of you, my apocalypse brother, my brother in wisdom. I love you, Zach. Hey brother, happy birthday. Uh, I'm so proud of how far you've come and how much you've grown these past 26 years that I've known you. You know, you've evolved from the smartest person I know to be one of the most considerate and devoted. And I couldn't be more proud to call you my brother. Somehow, uh, you and I always managed to go through the same shit just a few years apart. And thankfully, uh, you you go through it first. And um, when, when shit is hitting the fan for me, I know I can always count on you for a meal and some wisdom that will change how I think forever. So this is the only beginning of our journey uh, as brothers and your journey as, as a human. And I can't wait to see where life takes us. Love you more than anything. Hey Zach, happy birthday from the frigid streets of New York City. I hope you're enjoying some well-deserved R&R on the beautiful beaches of Tulum with all your friends. Wish I could be there, man. Um, so, you know, we've been through a lot together and uh, there's so much I could say about, you know, what I admire and your tenacity and your ability to motivate people to do what seems like impossible tasks and your confidence and your business savviness and all that, all that good stuff. But really, ultimately, what it is that I'm most impressed by and what I really adore about you the most is your uh, ability to, <clears throat> almost without comparison, uh, keep up and impress me with your wordplay. It is truly remarkable and uh, I look forward to every time I get a text from you seeing what kind of new and uh, uh, impressive twist you come up with on whatever ridiculous theme we have come up with at that moment. So to many more years of uh, silly puns and epic wordplay Cheers to you on your birthday, and um, look forward to seeing you when you get back, buddy. Hey, brother. Happy birthday. Uh, I'm in a car right now heading down to Tulum as we speak. So excited to celebrate with you. Uh, thinking about my favorite memories of you, I mean, Zach, you and I are going to go to the exact same thing, which is our 
epic uh, dance floor face-off uh, where I locked eyes with you and danced with you probably in a way that I don't think I've even danced with a girlfriend. Uh, sorry, ex-girlfriends. And uh, we just have fucking fun together, man. We really, really do. And, you know, with that, I also... It's less a memory and just more a sentiment. Uh, you are like truly one of the straightest shooters I know, and are like with that, with that straightness. You're also one of the most loving people I know, and it's a really unique combination. And uh, you know, I've always known uh, from the moment we met that you're you're a man with your heart in the right place, and and I've really appreciated about the, that about you. Uh, from the beginning, so uh, happy birthday, brother, and uh, excited to play. Zach, this is for your belated trivia. <laughs> Hi, Zach. Zach, we love you. <laughs> this, is, this is for your birthday. This is for my birthday. Oh my God, we love you so much. We love you so much. Oh my God, we love yeah. you so much. Why, thank you. Love you guys, too. Do you, do you know why we love you so much? No, I don't, actually. Because you're a beautiful fucking woman. Oh, thank you. It's a great beer. Yeah, it's a great beer. It's because you all are, like, all black. Yeah, right? <laughs> and that, too. All right. Yeah. All right. The general matching. Say happy birthday to yourself. Happy birthday, Zach. No. <laughs> and we love you. Happy birthday to yourself. <laughs> oh, very literal. All right. Love you. Oh, Zach. So, <laughs> first time we met. I thought to myself, who's this shrewd Jew throwing gambits at literally any role? Totally irreverent and, uh, and so smart. And certainly my kind of people. Um, but I didn't know you that well. And what I didn't know is I didn't know how much of a mensch you were. And it's been one of my absolute greatest joys to be in the light of your friendship, your partnership, and your brotherhood. Um, you have truly, truly shown up for me in the thickest of times without even a flinch. And likewise, we've both gone out of our way to just completely celebrate our lives during even the smallest of not occasions. Um, watching this last few years leading up to this moment now when you're celebrating your 30th has been breathtaking. Um, watching you deepen your friendships, expand your career, and really truly get to know yourself. Um, I can't wait to watch the next hundred. I'm so proud to call you a best friend. I know I've always got your back, man. I'm down to sneak into Jesus Town anytime. I love you so much. I'm so grateful that you were born. Seriously, here's to another hundred.